Hi guys, welcome to a Minecraft video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a Xenox reactor. So, in the last video I showed you how to build a fusion reactor. This reactor is more simple and uses less resources. However, it is a fusion reactor rather than a, a fission reactor rather than a fusion reactor, which does mean if it does melt down, then it's going to be way more serious. But yeah, list of the parts you'll need is on screen. So the first thing we're going to want to do is, I'm just going to take all of these. Now you're going to place down your reactor here. A uh, link for the template that I've put and built is in the description. So then we're going to come out here and place two of these tanks here and here and then we're going to link these up there we go uh, there we go now this is going to be carbon dioxide and we're going to set this tank to output and if you're in creative mode you can use infinite fluid barrels but if you're in survival you're going to have to top this up now this one needs to be input output and we're going to put an infinite water tank in here you don't need heavy water for this one just water will do this reactor And then you should see both these gauges here on either side are full. So just a quick crash course on the reactor. Um, we want these ones to be as high as possible and we want this one to be as low as possible. So now that we've done that, we're just going to run some ducks. Uh, to there actually. Then we're going to place down our industrial steam turbines and then we're going to put our identifiers in these and then we're also going to put our, put our, copper, our red copper cables at the back and then place uh, a power, an energy storage block here. Now here we're going to place a cooling tower. And we're also going to set these to super dense. So this reactor will put out super dense steam. So now we're going to put these along here and set it to uh no to low pressure steam. So that's that. Now we're just going to bring a duct out this way back to our tank and then this is going to be water. Now this reactor is done. So once you've so uh, I'm so I'm so the reactor's done, uh, I'll be back in a second once I'm ready to show you how to use it. Okay, so I'm back, I'm ready to show you how to use the reactor. So the first thing you need to do is check the carbon dioxide and water levels are good. And then just check that all your tanks are correctly set up and all your connections are good. Once that's all done, you're then going to get a fuel rod and put this in here. Uh, another downside to this reactor is that you will have to deal with the nuclear waste. Uh, also use plutonium fuel rods. Don't use anything higher than this because with this design in particular the reactor will explode. So now you should just be able to push this button here 
and that should go all the way up to 28 and stop and that should be about 500. So now we can see all our turbines are spinning. Now we're just going to check that there's no jam and it's emptying. So you can see it's emptying. So there's no jam in any of these turbines. And our oxygen and water levels are constant. And now we can see if we go back here, we're producing quite a bit of power. And we can see here that our water's growing really strong. So yeah, that'll be it for this video. Uh, um, sneak peek, the next video is going to be an oil, oil fracking plant. So, but that'll be it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.